Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Laugh Daily Podcast. Somebody here is beyond excited about today's episode, oh. and he is smiling huge. Raise your hand. Who is it? <laughs> Another food test. Isaac... Take it away. Today we're taste testing as many gas station food items as we possibly can. And this was Isaac's idea. Was it? It definitely wasn't my idea. Well, it was inspired by Isaac because he loves gas station foods. Specifically one in particular. Only one in particular. That would be the come and go. If if his attire wasn't a dead giveaway. uh, First, before we start eating any of this. Isaac, Ugh. what's the deal with come and go? Why is it such a big deal for you? Uh, when I worked as an installer, I had to get qu- quick food. And so it's either fast food or it's a gas station. And since I usually had to fill up my truck at the gas station anyway, pretty much every single day I would eat come and go. And by the way, guys, <laughs> if you're hearing sounds in the background, We are in a natural elements of the outdoors here on the property, and the construction team is building something. Whoa. Yeah. Epic. So don't mind those sounds. It's pretty fun because you're getting a back, uh, what's the word? Behind the scenes. Back (laughs) of what our life's like. Behind the scenes of the behind the scenes audio. And I feel like in high school, getting a gas station donut, that and um, King Super's donuts really develop the taste for donuts in my life, if I'm being honest. Whoa, okay. My only recollection of gas station food, one in particular, 7-Eleven. Classic. The Rollers, the Buffalo Chicken one, I remember getting a few times. Classic. I don't know when I got it, because I don't remember my parents taking me there, so I must have drove there and got it for high school or something. Oh, totally. Once yeah. you're able to drive, or if you're in biking distance, you're at 7-Eleven getting a donut or a roller. Oh, wait, me and you probably went. Yeah. We would skateboard down to oh, yeah. 7-Eleven. Exactly. I never really went to gas stations until I moved to America. So there, There's no gas stations in Relatively England? new memories. I mean, no. there is, but all, like- All what? electric vehicles. <laughs> I mean, there yeah. is, but I never, I didn't have a car in England, so I, I never like went to gas stations, really. You like, just went to the supermarkets. Did they yeah. have food at the gas stations? Not really. Not oh, not, so not like this. That's the other like big restaurants. thing. So when I moved here, I was like, oh, it's a gas station, but you can also get lunch. I didn't realize- Everyone hated gas station food so much, and it was frowned upon, and I was a weirdo. But let, let's clarify. I haven't had gas station food in, like, two years. I thought you said you had it last week. No, I didn't. I was joking. <laughs> Why were you joking about that? Because it was funny. <laughs> no, I haven't had much gas station food. Obviously, I have much. diabetes now, and I'm eating way better. So this is exciting. All right, let's start. Over here, oh, I am not looking forward to this. This one, this this one is definitely, I think, going to be the worst. With, I don't know one? what is all no, this. That's 7-Eleven. It, this is oh. all Seven Eleven. No, 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 that's no, no, Rocket. This, this is Rocket. Yeah, Rocket gas station. Never heard of it before. All right, they got tornadoes. Ugh. Never heard of them. They look like the Seven Eleven rollers. Who knows what flavor this is? It's like basically a. Uh, it's oh, like a little gosh. taquito. I can't remember. The flavor was. I think it was cheese bought. and cheese and chicken. It's just oh, you're just gonna manhandle the heck out of it. Oh, nice. No, oh, look at that. No. That doesn't look like cheese. What is that? What is that? I'm just taking a bite. You're gonna wait. We got try it? I, think I have to have all the food after both getting... of you touched them all. I already licked it, so you probably. Don't oh, that's the that least of your problems, pal. That one looks better. Did you wash your hands before you started? Yeah, I did. Why would I wash my hands? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. I'm scared. Do I get some or? Whatever one you want. Here you go. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> I mean, it's not bad. That's oh. the thing. Most of these, this food, I feel like, isn't going to be bad. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Which one did you get? The chicken one is good. And we got empanadas. Yeah, I'm going to try one of those. The texture of the... Oh, um, there's spice. I got it. The texture of the outside is is just really good. I like it. El Monterey empanadas, beef and cheese. That one's gross. Give me that flavor. Me. Growing up in high school. Oh, what is that? My mom would always buy those like really cheap burritos from the grocery store. That you just throw in the microwave. I remember like Ugh. every night These getting are queso, putting it on top, drizzling it with hot sauce. Mm. It's like not good. It's like worse than Taco Bell. Yeah, that's yeah. It is. It's worse than Taco Bell. That's awful. And I kind of like Taco Bell. Actually, I like Taco Bell a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than Taco Bell. But that's like like the, that's lot. like the worst Mexican food uh. I've ever had. Oh, the glizzo. 
All right, Glizzo. This is an all beef. Can't go wrong, dude. All with this. beef. Can't go wrong with a Glizzo. Where's this one from? All Rocket. beef in Rocket. quotes. Oh, no. Not hitting, huh? No. Mm. The bun is really dry. <laughs> kind of hard. The hot dog itself Whoa, is immediate like. Immediate reaction from It's like kind of solid. I don't know. Break this in half. That one was oh, a, the bun is bad. Hot dogs are so easy to do that uh, gas stations usually are capable of it. But that one? It's because they have them on the roller, and it gets a nice, crisp, and evenly cooked surface all the way around. That was by far the worst hot dog I've ever had. It kind of tastes like a standard hot dog. If I get mm. food poisoning after this episode, <laughs> someone's in trouble. Well, we are, too, so <laughs> if you're getting it, we're no. getting it. There's only certain bites. <laughs> oh. Okay, Rocket so far is definitely a F tier. Yes. Gas station food. Are we rating them out, what are we, are we rating them out of ten or? <laughs> sure, we'll do it out of ten. Or a, or the alphabets. That's the tier list. We have tier list and then out of ten. <laughs> I'm gonna rate them with the alphabet. You rate them with the ten okay. scale. Andrew, do whatever you want. I'll yeah. go with thumbs. Okay, thumbs. Ooh. Okay, that's good. There's that's a good. lot of ways you can do thumbs. Like right. You know. Okay, so yeah, so like two thumbs is wow good. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm the thumb guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. You've been watching too much Spike. What, what, what you got, Alphabet? <laughs> I, I just said F. F? Is that the lowest? Does it go oh, lower yeah. than F? Oh, yeah. Uh, Z, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ran it out of the whole alphabet. <laughs> All right. What do you got, Thumbs Boy? Yeah. That's two thumbs down. Yeah, it's definitely a two out of ten. It only has a two because of the one bite of, of the, the chicken cheese oh. roller. That was... That was pretty good. I like that one. Let's get these things out of the way. Oh, yeah, I got a trash bag here. Just kidding. Not going to throw it. Chris looked very angry when I was about to do that. All right. Next up down the list here, we have 7-Eleven. Oh, they might save. be the most popular of all gas stations. 7 Eleven's like the... It's the... Is it one of the only ones that's like... That's what I'm saying. Uh, countrywide? Na- nationwide? Nationwide. It's, uh, it's, they are it's international, my guy. Oh, nationwide means... Are they? Worldwide. I know what nationwide means. So I'm going uh, one. <laughs> Just <to> clarify. <laughs> nationwide goes well, from Hawaii all the way to Florida, all wait, the way to Alaska. They have 7-Elevens in other countries. Yeah. Do they? Where? He just said India. India? Are you sure? I'm. No, I'm he a, just said that. I got to fact check made that myself. Up. Yeah, you better fact check it. We should try ah. to save as much as we can. So now this save. great food goes to waste, and we can give it to the team. Okay. Oh. I don't even. Want Ain't it. nobody on the team gonna want to eat this. We are starting with the seven. Oh, <laughs> I don't. No, they're soggy now. I got seven eleven nachos. I grabbed this one while he was grabbing donuts because I was like, "It's nachos. It's classic. Yeah, I have it." Oh. But it looks so grim. I just want like oh oh jeez, dude. I can't wait to get to come and go. That's gonna save our life. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it oh. is. Trust me, dude. It's like a floppy wet fish. Seven oh. eleven is cracked. <laughs> oh, they're dude, that. literally. <laughs> They oh. even have 14 stores in Vietnam, <laughs> Singapore, South Korea, China, Sweden, Norway, Mexico. I mean, the list. Thailand. They have 10,000 stores in Thailand. That was awful. Try it, big boy. Uh, I don't want uh, it. Well, you got to Now, get a nice soggy one. No, no, no. <laughs> also, <laughs> you guys didn't even see where that chili and cheese came out of, but. What? <laughs> This, the thing you squirted out of looks, <laughs> looks so gross. Stop talking. Sorry. That was that was awful. This is the worst food we've had so far. So 7-Eleven, you're yeah. not starting strong. Let's Drew will probably with, eat that. Let's go with something uh, yummy. This no. is the big bite. There you go. That, that goes with that one. And then we got the one I would always get at 7-Eleven is the buffalo chicken, which... Okay. I forgot about this one. This one? This is the hamburger bite. This one looks good, dude. It's no, good. it doesn't. Look at that. Throw it in there. I'll, I'll try it first. I'll let you know if, if uh, oh, it's so dry. Dude, this just doesn't look right. Like, what's that? That kind of looks like oh, fish. Oh, is that cheese? Oh, uh, maybe. Let me try one of these. <laughs> oh, man, that was bad. Oh, it can't be worse than this. <laughs> uh, is this a spit bucket or something? I don't want to consume all of this stuff. That's what I'm saying. We got one? Okay. I'm going to spit it out. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. It's so dry. And... Uh, this looks kind of good. This. Okay, sorry. Think of the amount of people that go to these stores on a daily. Oh, that's good. 
Are you kidding? If it's because it's kind of it's gotten a little cold. If it was hot, it'd be it'd be all right. That's what I'm saying. It's bad because it tastes. Yeah, it's not warm anymore. It's right bad. off the roller. I bet that's good. We're gonna have a headache after this. Um, We're gonna have diabetes. <laughs> I am at least. I don't mind the beef hamburger bite <clears throat> that bad. The flavor's fine. The texture, yeah, is so flavor gross. wise, it's is better Once I than swallowed I it. I was like, oh, I could have another bite, maybe. I definitely couldn't eat a whole one though. Oh boy, what next? Dude, this is so much. This is Why a did we crazy break? challenge. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even a challenge. This is fun. All right, this is fun. Well, it's supposed to be at least. The, this thing, when I saw it, I was like, "There's no way this is good." Seven Eleven Buffalo wings and, and tenders. And when we bought these, the cashier was like, "Ah oh, man, I gotta go cook some more." <laughs> Because we took the last ones. <laughs> Not only are they hard to eat, but they're also hard to make. You know, standard. Oh, you're going tenders? I don't want either of those things. How's the tenders? Okay, I got like kind of gooey. Oh, gooey. Ah. Really? Ah. Oh, jeez. Ah. The wing, the wings is not. It's not terrible. Again, hot. It'd be. Are right. they cooked? I hope so. Be cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought of that before. Yeah, I didn't even Wait, consider what? that they cooked. were cooked. <laughs> well, it was Martha who was by herself getting mad that she had to cook things. So oh, would, yeah, that might that bite might it. not have been cooked. Oh, that bite was bad. Well, I've got a maybe non-cooked bite. Sorry. Sorry to see that. Let me try one of these tendies. <laughs> this is like a brick. Oh. I don't want to eat that one now. What? Oh, my lanta, dude. The aftertaste on the wings is awful. Yeah, I agree. Holy cow. Why yeah, is it? I kind of like the tender. That ain't right. I like the tender. There's it's something it. wrong with the meat. Something wrong here. Really? Something's Some, off. Something ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> something ain't right. No, that, that, the tender's all right. I like that. No, something's wrong. I don't know what it is, but it's it ain't right here. My second bite was kind of uh, hard. Like, the meat was hard to chew. I told you something's wrong with the meat. Something is wrong. I agree now. Oh, Anything else wow. from 7-Eleven? Yes. Oh, jeez. Okay, we got we got a sweet. This can't really be that bad. Back before I had Try diabetes, classic. I had these Seven Eleven donuts, and they're pretty butt cheeks. Wait a minute, are you filled? What'd you say? I filled. Oh man, that sounds good. Mm. As expected, that was definitely the best thing on the menu at Seven Eleven. I would say this is better than uh, like King Supers, though. They didn't Which have. Grocery they store. didn't have pizza when we went. And, Look how squishy this is. But Seven Eleven pizza is definitely their best food. It's hard to mess up pizza. Oh, yeah? Wait till you see what I filmed. That's right. <laughs> hey. That was disturbing. <laughs> we'll get to that in just a minute when we get to come and go. <laughs> hey, it was good. That it, pizza it is was good. good. No, there's no chance that that pizza that that guy was making is good. <laughs> and I filmed it. It is. Coming though. up in just a second. It is good. Promise. All right, 7-Eleven F minus. Whoa, worse, so, worse than yeah, Rocket? Yeah. That, Somehow that was worse than that Rocket. That was worse. Yeah, what did I have that was even any good? Nothing, right? I mean, it has to be worse. They're a bigger chain, so they got to distribute all this food to like over 20,000 stores. Huh. I'm already feeling real Low tier. sick. Low tier. That's, that is mega thumbs oh, down. Two goodness. of them. Mess. I'm going I'm to give it a three. It's one mark mm -hmm. higher than a two. Than Rocket? Yeah. That's Because the, the, the Buffalo thing was all right, and the tenders were okay. If you only have one bite, and and those nachos are fine if they weren't soggy. I'm trying to no, give them no, benefit not of the doubt. Fine. You said it came out of like some ancient device. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they probably they probably never clean it either. What the heck was oh, that? That's true. I'm sorry about that. This they must clean just, it. This stuff. No. The whole spring this would have slop. It's no. a zombie machine. apocalypse. You think, for months. You think Cynthia, the 7-Eleven lady who didn't even want to cook, <sighs> is going back there and cleaning the machines? I don't, I don't think that's her job. She's got someone else doing that. She was the only one there. No, there's another one. I asked where the buns were, and she was like, "Yeah, but she was grumpy." How often do you think they're cleaning it? Because how and how often are people ordering this? This stuff probably sits it's there. It's not an order. I squeezed it myself. Yeah, it's, it's a self squeezer. It, it, yeah, it's a self presser. Like I pressed it and poured That's the nice. cheese all over. I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> What's our next restaurant? Next restaurant, or Maverick. Not, not restaurant. Maverick. Maverick. Screw Very Maverick. Big. Whoa. <laughs> Throwing place. shots. Okay. What do we got? Stones. Maverick sucks. Why? Hate it. Yeah, but look, we got a King's Hawaiian chicken tender and Swiss sandwich. Screw it. We just learned when we were at Come and Go buying all these delicious items of food that 
Maverick recently just bought out Come and Go. And so they're turning all the Come and Goes into Mavericks. <laughs> and why is that such a big deal? Because Come and Go... <laughs> come and Go is his life. Because Come and Go is so... Is the best fast food. I've never had Bucky's. The best fast food? I've never had Bucky's. Don't come for me in the Not comments. Not a chance. I'm sure Bucky... Whoa, that does look kind of good. No. Here. I won't accept Gosh. this. Oh, wow. That bread. Oh, wow. I mean, oh, the only reason this is good is because of the Hawaiian roll. That is a good Hawaiian roll. No. What in the world is aluminum phosphate? Ow. Don't it's a naturally me. occurring <laughs> enzyme. It's good for your digestive tract. Yeah. Aluminum? Aluminium? <laughs> Adamantium. Let's yeah, try. I, I, you have to admit that's better than any of the other. That's food. the yeah, best food so far. Better than Seven Eleven tenders. But I'm sad to yeah. admit because Maverick, I hate him. Um, let's try that's, that terrifying looking hot dog. Oh, this is oh, Maverick. I didn't even know you got that. Why is it? Oh, not, dude, look how squishy that is. It's 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 skin colored. Here's the 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 hot dog from Seven Eleven. Yes. The color. Look it's, at the color difference. Realistically, it's right, probably it up. it's probably healthier. But we're just Based so used to, to like that's the color is. of pork, not red, right? <laughs> beef. When is beef red other than when it's raw? <laughs> this isn't red. You're saying this one is more. Are you sure? What meat is that one? Exactly. That might not be pork. Why would it be pork? Oh. I thought hot dogs were pork. All beef franks. What? Well, hot dogs can be many things. I thought they were all the. I thought they were hot all the dogs. Giblet bits of the pig. You can get all beef ones. What the heck that's, is that? that those are the good kinds. The bad kinds are the ones where they just jumble up piles of nonsense. That's probably just straight up intestine track. Why do you have to say that right <laughs> before we take a big bite out of it? I'm not taking a big bite out of that. <laughs> I will. Ah. Really? It's that bad? <laughs> oh. This bun, I can already tell, is better. Is this going to make you guys mad if I bite it in the middle? Oh, you no. Guys. I can't take a bite now. Hmm. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Where's that literally bag? looks like spam. That looks like what it tastes like. That looks like raw. Ah. Oh, dude, I don't even know if I can take a bite out of that. Do no? it, dude. You have to. Oh, dude. It's it's. You guys are acting like you've never seen a hot dog before. Not oh, this. I've seen plenty of hot dogs. That's that's what a hot dog looks like, man. No. You, we just don't usually break them in half and. Yeah, yeah. That's just a big, thick hot dog, and it tastes it tastes kind of weird, but it's not bad. <laughs> it tastes kind of weird. It tastes that's what I'm saying. It tastes a little weird, but it doesn't taste that bad. Take a bite, man. It's for the it's for the vid. Don't worry, he took a bite. That looks not that, see that just looks weird. Seven Eleven was better. That's a weird hot dog. We didn't need a hot dog from Seven Eleven. Oh, whatever, rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we did have Rocket was the all beef one. No, so. Rockets was way worse. Uh, no, it's not. Rockets was so much no, worse. No, it's not. Yes, it was. I just don't like how that one looks, but okay. Oh, next looks up are a lot. These we are good. have Maverick Mini Tacos. You can't go wrong. Oh, don't say that. Yes, you can. <laughs> I wish I had something to dip them in, like some some guac or like sour cream or something. I feel so sick. Mm. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna throw up. These also are nostalgic for me. My mom used to buy the. Costco or Sam's Club, like taquitos that yeah. were a ton of these. That's not too bad. I don't like that at all. I what? I mean, it's pretty basic on the flavor, but it's not like horrible. It's so yeah. dry. That was way better than the hot dog. I don't like the texture of it. I'd say that's five times better than the hot dog. This place yeah. is buying out the best gas station ever with that garbage yuck. Oh, geez. Ratings, go. Better than Seth I'm going to give it a yeah. uh, D minus. Oh. Moving up. Better than 7-Eleven, better than Rocket. Yeah, I think yeah. it was overall was better, so I'm going to give it a half a thumb. I'll give it a, I'll give it a five because it's it's very mid, but it, it's not like it's not like makes me want to puke like the other stuff. Okay, next up we have Circle K. We didn't do this intentionally, but it looks like we have ordered them in order of, of worst to best because <laughs> this stuff chance. already looks better this, than all that. This pizza from Circle K looks good. actually looks decent. Yes. So I'm excited to try this. Give me a bite of that. Yeah, we didn't have pizza from the other two, so this might automatically have a better rating. It looks a little undercooked. The yeah, the the crust is squishy. Yeah, touch more, touch it all over. <laughs> what the heck? What? 
I mean, the cheese is okay. Kind of saves the flavor. The crust, something messed up. Man, I had high hopes. That, that was the weirdest doesn't pizza. doesn't have like a pizza. It doesn't taste like pizza. No, it doesn't taste <laughs> like pizza at all. So I'm saying the cheese flavor kind of saves it. It's got like a metallic. It tastes like they accidentally splashed a little bit of the gasoline in there. <laughs> they spit. <laughs> we know how much he loves drinking gasoline. <laughs> It's a very distinct flavor. What a strange rumor to start. I didn't start it. I've never, I never swallowed gasoline. <laughs> what? I never swallowed it. Well, then what happened? Doesn't matter. Next on. <laughs> on to this. Is that, what is this, a giant mozzarella stick? Um, These are probably more rollers. More rollers. These look like mozzos. Really? No, they're not mozzos. Interesting. Buffalo. T- oh, not again. Oh, oh. they got... I got the little cheese inside. Are they better oh. than... Oh. <laughs> okay. What happened? <laughs> Whoa. Just take a bite of that. Don't don't, even, don't look at it. Just take a bite. I already uh, have something in my mouth. Okay, wait. I'll just spit it out real quick. <laughs> no. Don't look at it. Take a big uh. bite. Oh, shut up. 7-Eleven's rollers are, are better, but not by a me. lot. It scared me for a second because there's, there's goo inside of this one. And it's cheese, but at first I didn't realize that. But look at that. <sighs> it's chicken here, and then just at the top, there's a line of cheese. How do they make this for stuff? For no reason. Try that thing. I don't want it. Well, this was your idea. It was not my idea. <laughs> Justin loves gas station food. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like, as soon as I put something in my mouth, I feel like just throwing up. You'll be all right. You still have 800 items from come and go. <laughs> I'll immediately have my appetite back for that. I love come and go. Real quick. Oh, we still have two more? Oh, a corn oh, dog. A corn dog. And a cheeseburger. Oh, gosh. Corn dog. There's no. Whoa. Oh, why is it? <laughs> what why happened it? to this it looks like It looks like your fingers when you get out like the bathtub when you've been <laughs> in there for too long. Doesn't that bun on the bottom? <laughs> Who? <laughs> oh, man. Where's the cheese? What ingredient is this? Frank made with turkey. <laughs> Is it Frank like a, <laughs> a term for a hot dog? Yeah, yeah, but I, I, that's, it's a, it's a uh, I thought that's a brand. It's a dog. I thought oh, Frank like Frank's is like a brand. Sauce? Is it? No, Frank is a term for a hot dog. Yeah. Why don't they put like beef, not Frank? Because the because it's not beef; it's made of turkey. It's a hot dog, but it's not a beef made, made of yet. turkey. That's why I'm confused. I just a beef Frank made of turkey. If you're putting that in the ingredients, why Frank? Oh, what's the small? Because I think hot dog is like slang. You just eat these. I just want to eat. At your away. house, actually, I would go over to Andrew's house when we grew up together. His mom would make these by the gallon, and we'd eat them with mustard. <laughs> yeah, so we used to eat corn dogs with mustard <laughs> fairly often. That one almost made me throw up. Dude, that's one of the worst. Whoa! I've ever had. <laughs> what is it? That? that is, dude, not good. <laughs> that is. Are you gonna bite that thing? Or just wait. No, what are you doing? With a corn dog. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> just trying to bypass bite. time. Oh, oh. Well, maybe I should get this <laughs> over with. I, I what was that? Pooped his pants. <laughs> dude, you gotta try this thing. That is the most atrocious. What are you guys doing? <laughs> the Frank is so gooey. The Frank is made of turkey. Ew, it's so slimy. Yeah. Out the, the outside <laughs> saves it. The outside bread is like kind of sweet. Okay, perfect. It's like, um, mm. you didn't oh, even get the get, Frank. You got to try the Frank. <laughs> the turkey Frank. <laughs> try the turkey Frank. I really don't want to try this. Mm. Yeah. I like the corny exterior. Yeah, that's good. Nothing wrong with that. It's a corn dog. Yeah. There's no such thing as a gourmet corn dog. Ooh. Until we make it. Jesushop.com. Gourmet corn dogs. Wait, what's that one funny line? Going full cob. People scared to be corny. I live my life on the cob. Yeah, that's it. That line. Yeah. Maybe you guys are tasting the tetrasodium pyrophosphate. Stop reading the ingredients, <laughs> man. We know they're not good. <laughs> it's just a bite. I got to take a look at, at the inside here. Don't. <laughs> Ugh, what happened to the cheese? I already said that. It just more. Oh, the cheese that disintegrated. Looks, that looks like, yeah, that looks like bathtub. Like it was Wait, cooked in a bathtub. It looks like they tried to do like grill lines, but they just used a knife and just cut lines in it. It's just. Uh, that seriously looks like it was being sous vide in a hot bath. That's a, bo- that's a boiled burger. <laughs> they boiled that back there. That was the worst burger I've ever had. And yeah. I've had a lot. The bread. 
the bread is bad. <sighs> the patty's bad. The cheese is almost non-existent. If it is cheese, that was. I, I'm giving. Oh. I'm giving. What was that? Circle K. I don't. Yeah. I can't remember anything else we oh. had from there. I'm giving it a z- a zero, <laughs> just for that burger. Circle, Circle K was the worst. That was atrocious. I think it was worse than Seven Eleven. Oh, oh muffin. muffin. Oh, maybe they can redeem themselves. Store bought <laughs> blueberry muffins are better than homemade. Oh, yeah, it, he chocolate, said that. Can you believe that? Shit. Muffin oh. mode. How was it? Not good. Really? Not even the muffin could. No, say it was dry. It's uh, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like Circle K is kind of the direct like equivalent of. Of 7-Eleven, like they're direct competitors, but 7-Eleven is... Give that a little... I can't. I have diabetes. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. You don't need it. There's something about I'll sweets that's just a little more easy to eat than the meats it, from gas stations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm have getting... Have you a- ever seen anyone do that? <laughs> Guys, leave a comment. Isaac's done that before. He can't have sugar. He took an Oreo, put it in his mouth, and just breathed it. And he you got get, the essence. You get the essence. If you oh. really need that hit of <laughs> Oreo... Guys, we have arrived. Let me. See. By the way, Circle K for me was a zero thumbs. Dude. F. Big <laughs> F. F plus or no? Yeah. <laughs> what are you starting with? Wait, wait. Oh, waiting. Nobody move. Oh, um, what? Play the video that I recorded at um, Come and Go of the guy making the pizza. They don't have good slices of. I don't, I don't even know what that is. I can't. That's gross. You gotta be kidding. You walk in. I, Isaac's talking p- the pizza up specifically. Guys. The guy drops dollops of just guys nacho cheese. Like, guys. It looks like the spray can cheese. Just like a whoop guys. of just on it. And he's spreading it out. And Justin's like, well, sir, what is that? <laughs> It's for their breakfast pizza. Yeah, it looked horrible. And then the guy's just laying like pieces of salami on it. No, no, no. Ham. Canadian ham doesn't change it. It, it was one of the w- most disgusting things I've ever seen. So now we're about ah. to uh, let's try the pizza first. I've had the pizza that yeah. breakfast pizza and it's good. Did I actually ate it. Have it. I ate it the morning right before we went and did hide and seek and shields, and it really? gave me the power to hide. It also gave him something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since I guess this is kind of a breakfast item, let's start with these. Bagel oh. dots plain. I've never tried these ones before. These are new. Justin also asked us. Well, I asked him. I was like, "Is this for the pepperoni pizza?" And he said, "I hope not." That was the employee. So these are filled with cream cheese. That is just a great invention. Uh. Ah, finally, a little less ingredients. That's great. Finally, something buzzing. It's not bad. If you were in a pinch, this would be an acceptable snack. First thing in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like a bagel. Mm. I mean, the whole thing. That's fine. I feel sick. Uh. Listen to us, guys. If you're on a road trip, if you're doing something where you just have to have something quick, the bagel bites that yeah. you can, you're allowed to get this one. We're almost to the finish line. <laughs> We've had many off-camera debates about gas station food, and I'm not a I'm not a gas station food advocate. Let's clear that up. I just love <clears throat> Come and Go because I think it breaks the stereotypes of gas station food. Why? Because it's, it's actually good. They have a chef like, who knows how to make like, pizza. Like, you can go there for a good lunch. I wouldn't go there for dinner. I wouldn't take anyone on a date there. What is that? Big and bold barbecue burger Whoa. or barbecue Give me sandwich. the ingredients. Dude, that looks good. It's got a pretzel bun. That's I've, pretty I've never tried this one tier. either. Huh? Huh? <laughs> we have Dude. dough conditioner. Okay. No, you put conditioner in your hair. Makes it nice. And <clears throat> benzoyl peroxide. That's okay. What is that? And a mold inhibitor. What is that? What are those things? No mold. Exactly. Justin, what are those things? It's a decolorant. What does that mean? What is it? Exactly. Yeah, but you don't know what's bad for you inherently. You're just reading names you don't know. Why would I want to put something like that in my body? Because it could be fine. No. Why? It could be yummy. (laughs) Benzoyl peroxide? It's just a big word. You're scared of things you don't understand. You said this is good though. If you can't tell me it's bad, I you can't I can't tell you that. Wait, there's more. Did you get a big enough bite? Surface. Uh, yes, I did. The sauce is good. A surface finishing agent. Yeah, that's good for you. <laughs> you can't tell me it's bad for me. Well, you you can't, can't tell me it's good, good for me then. Fine, I'll. Same logic. Fine, it's neutral then. No, it's not. Just eat the sandwich. <laughs> Dude, that's a good sandwich. It's actually a hefty sandwich too. It's, it's thick. The onions aren't good though. Really? I didn't get a lot of onion. The meat's good and the sauce is good. The onions though aren't very good. They're kind of stale. 
It's overpowering the flavor. I wish there was no onions. What do you think, Justin Stewart? It's all right. Spitting it out. With an aftertaste on this. I like that one. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a... It's I'm better a, than the other ones. I'm not just saying that because I'm a the other go fan. Station. I genuinely thought that was delicious. Oh. All right. We got the honey hot chicken sandwich. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Can you open the bag? This is also a good thing about Come and Go is all their food is well sealed. It's not just out in the open floating around like all this. So stuff. someone could like dump like some disease Hot on it. Chew. Yeah. Uh, this uh, is like uh, nice, uh, well wrapped. Give me that. Look, it's going to have the same things. No, it's got to spawn. I got to find new fun ingredients in each of these. Hmm, what? Oh, the chicken is so stale. Oh, the bread. You don't like the bread? <laughs> no. no. I like the bread. What's wrong with you? I like the moistness. <laughs> It's not moist, it's stale. No, it's not. It's like... It's soft. We got these like an hour ago, remember? Oh, what was that crunchy thing? Give them the benefit of the doubt. Sometimes there's some gristle in there. Mm. What did you find? Oh, there's some... The flavor. There's something crunchy in there that shouldn't be in there. What's I... the point of putting caramel color in a sandwich? I've never tried these... Um, Southwest Bacon Breakfast Burrito. This looks good. Oh, if that has the same sauce, cheese concoction. That it they might, put on I've pizza. seen it squirting out the side. Uh, there's no way. <coughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, it's really dry. I don't know if I can get that one down. It tastes. Hey, they put whey protein fine, in here. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> Chew it. It tastes good. Yeah, but that first texture bite was it's, a it's big real, miss. It's thick and dry. I did not like that one. That's better than the two sandwiches. I feel so sick. All right. What's next? How these many, are how many food items did you get from Come and Go? These are two of the same because I I got one for myself. <laughs> yeah. Why did you get so many? Because he got one for himself. Last Isaac but literally went, got all the food. Last but not least, Come and Go. We have two. The the t last two foods that I actually do eat from Come and Go. So now, this after, burger tastes kind of weird, but it's good. After a you you went there for a year, and these were the ones you get the most? Yeah. This is better with mayo, but look at that burger. Doesn't that look kind of weird? Yes, it does. Yeah. And there's two, like, random little slices of bacon. <laughs> yeah, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to be fancy, but why? Four, $4.69. Yeah. Picture it with sauce on it and hot. Yeah, but why would you get this when you could easily go to any drive-thru that has burgers? I don't know, man. That one's got, like, a certain flavor that I like and texture. It's definitely better than the other burger. Yeah. It's better sure. than Whataburger. Whoa, hot take. Yeah. <laughs> Flaming hot take. <laughs> but do you agree? Whoa. Oh, what? I think it's it, better than Whataburger. I Come think on. in someone's world it could I be better. I think it could be better than Whataburger. What about your world? I can understand that someone's opinion on that. Right, right, right. But what's your opinion? Better than Whataburger or no? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, the pizza. They didn't have my favorite flavor, but this will do. All right. I'm glad you saved the best for last. He's been talking up the pizza. I'm not sure what flavor this is. I thought you said he was just a mixture of everything in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's their... The sink? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I think from the garbage disposal. Just I mean, since since this isn't pepperoni and it's not as fresh, I can see a fresh pepperoni being okay to eat. Yeah. No, no. Good to eat. No, okay. No, no, good. No, no, no okay. No, 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 good. Nothing here is good to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, nothing. No. Not a single thing? Nothing here, I would say, that's good. <laughs> Whoa. Not Whoa. one item. Bamboozled Isaac. <laughs> The aftertaste of that pizza, not good. That pizza is kind of weird, but a pepperoni <laughs> hot so is weird. good. Ugh. And the burgers, I'm telling you. Guys, Ugh. go try a come and go cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger. It's got mushrooms. mushrooms. Yeah, it's like and then supreme. come back to the video and comment what you thought of it. No, we don't recommend it. <clears throat> oh, sorry. What is that over there? <laughs> That's his personal burger. Yeah. You legit bought a personal burger. Yes. <laughs> I'm not joking. I really like the burgers. What? It's not for right now, obviously. I can't remember it in the podcast if we mentioned the come and go story. What was the come and go oh. story? That they're getting bought out? Yeah, I just said it just oh, now. Oh, we did say that? Yeah. Okay. They've that's, been in business for that's 60... Why, that's what? why I said I hate Maverick. 67 years? Something yeah. like that? Boycott Maverick. 67 years. Come and go got bought out by Maverick. 
And the lady there said that by the end of September next year, all the come and goes are going to be redesigned into Mavericks, except for the ones in Iowa. So she also said they're getting paid less. They're getting a pay cut. I don't care. (laughs) Somebody cares. Well, I care. I want to offend Isaac. That's okay. You can't offend me. Repping the come and go merge. Well, the the cashier at come and go is pretty sad, so you just hurt her feelings. She's getting paid less by Maverick. The 7-Eleven lady said that because Maverick bought it out, they're going to have better benefits and a better work environment or something. No, she said they're they're doing different benefits. Do you you believe the 7-Eleven lady or the come and go lady? Hmm. It's hard to say. Come and go lady works (laughs) there. That might be biased, though. Like, mm. she's just mad. True. But then the 7-Eleven lady is a competitor who's hyping it up. Interesting. She I had don't know. good things to say about the competitor. She's like, it's all love, remember? Oh, yeah, like, I think we need to have them box each other. Oh, <sighs> the CEOs? The CEOs of, of Maverick and 7-Eleven. <laughs> Who is it? We should interview the CEO of 7-Eleven. I want to box Be Like, it. man, what are you Ooh, thinking? I bet he's never even had Maverick. these foods. <laughs> Oh. And we like force feed them, like eat this, eat it. We just do a taste yeah. test with the the yeah, CEO like, of Seven right, Eleven. Look me in the face and tell me that's good. <laughs> <laughs> now do something about it. <laughs> we won't stand until we get good food from Seven Eleven. Oh, I feel so oh. sick. Do you feel sick? Anybody oh. else? I need a chug water. Oh. It's starting to smell too out in the sun. I don't Whoa. think that's because of the food. Did you just fart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he literally. He just farted. Oh. That's rank. It's starting to smell. It's hot. Um, <laughs> his food's starting to rot real fast. <laughs> oh, let's all go poop now. All right. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Guys, thanks for enduring this with us. Uh, hopefully you'll learn something. Don't eat fast food from a gas station. Unless it's coming, girl. It's not even food. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>